I don't have a heart. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Annie LeBlanc here, and I'm gonna be doing a rundown of season six of Chicken Girls. Let's get into it. This is episode one, the first episode when Rhyme tries out for cheerleading. Oh, I remember this. Okay. I actually wasn't going to do that on the day because we were supposed to be doing it on grass, but it like was raining and like we just had to like make something up and go in the gym. So I wasn't actually gonna do a back tuck that day just because I wasn't trained for it, but I just pulled through and I did it. I was just like all the adrenaline was pumping and I, I did it. I probably couldn't do it right now if you asked me to, but we got through it. <laughs> Next one is episode two. We have Ron, Quinn, Ellie, and Astrid, and we are giving Astrid the CG bracelet. We are letting her join our group, but we're gonna give her a little bit of a hard time about it. I was she looks so sad. Do you guys have any Canadian oolong tea? Can Canadian oolong? I love her. I'm tired of waiting hand and foot on all of you like yeah, a Cinderella. Is. Look, maybe Sticking I'm not a part herself. of your super special girl gang or whatever, but I'm still a person and I deserve to be treated. Surprise! Surprise! Oh, this makes you so happy. I love watching this. Wait, 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 what is this? Well, we're so lucky to have you as our friend and now to be a part of our super special girl gang. Forever! This was such a fun scene to film. Come here! Oh, I remember this. Scenes with like your friends and just the chicken girls are probably one of my favorites to film. All right, we're going on to episode three and this is when Rhyme gets pressured into playing spin the bottle and somebody walks in. Oh my God. Rhyme, your turn. Oh my God, <laughs> I can't watch it. I did not like this dress and I was wearing it. Also, this guy's like 25 right? and I was like, You can on. do it, sophomore. <laughs> I'm getting like embarrassed. Thanks. Thank goodness she walks in. Oh, and then she chickens out once again. Rhyme really trying to like grow up and like experience things, but I feel like what Rhyme does best and what's written into almost every scene is like she storms out. Like she just always has like a dramatic walkout. It's kind of a joke around set where it's just like, oh, let me guess, Rhyme storms in or Rhyme storms out. She's really perfected it, I think. So moving on. So we're skipping over to episode five where the chicken girls have a little bit of a sleepover. We're just chilling. And then Rhyme catches Astrid talking to Wes. Um, so, anyone gonna call my bet? Not me. No? I look so sad. Oh my god, I was so hurt. <laughs> Once again, I love the scenes with the chicken girls. They're so much fun, and now I miss being on set. Still episode five, we're playing Never Have I Ever, and things are just like still awkward. Never have I ever ignored my boyfriend to hang out with my cool older friends. Ouch, that hurts. Good one. Never have I ever tried to steal my cousin's boyfriend. Oh, I really got her there. I remember this line because I couldn't get it out because I was like speaking too fast. I was like, never, ever, ever. And it was like a funny thing on set that I could not say never have I ever. I mean, we're really roasting each other. Now we're on to episode six and Astrid brings Rhyme coffee after she uh, snuck out the previous night. Hey, gals, brought you some caffeine. Peace offering. Plus, I know you had a late night. <laughs> oh, she knows. How does everybody know that? The front door was your first mistake. Yeah. I'm so bad Thanks. at sneaking out. Of course, Haley's the one to like rat me out to everybody. I mean, I probably did it more to myself, but like I could totally see that. Filming with her and Pilot is just a sight to see. It's so much fun. All right, we're continuing on with this scene in episode six. I pretty much get really mad because I figure out that TK's script is about me. Oh, it just wasn't TK's script. We should act my it out. So Believe you left me all alone. <laughs> you didn't blow up response to my signals. I was confused. We were gleep neighbors, gleep and lovers. Floor, floor. <laughs> I like to dance. You like to swim. It will never work out. Wait. You guys, does anybody know something about this? Guys, does anybody know? Yeah, that, that's kind of dumb. Yes, but it's also about me and TK. Yeah, it's, it's also fun. about me and TK. Yeah, look. The boy alien took the galaxy out. and left the girl behind. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't put that together. Okay, once you have calmed down, you need to talk to TK. No, no, I've no. waited long enough. No, no, I have to no, say no. something now. She's gotta say something now. Would now be a bad time to tell you that Ellie's starring in the movie? Ah! 
this scene is just like so overwhelming and the scripts actually did have the lines on it and it was just like messing me up because I couldn't find where my line was but it turned out actually pretty good so props to the like editors or someone on set that helped me through this one because couldn't have done that one on my own. We're going on to episode seven and this is when um, Ellie and Carlos kiss for TK and Wes's movie shoot. I have never watched this scene before. I don't have a heart. Oh my god. And yet <laughs> oh my god. That was great. That's the wrap, everybody. For some reason in the script, I thought it was like way more than that, but I was really sad that day because I wrapped earlier than everybody and I wasn't like gonna stay to watch it. And normally like it's a thing on set where if there's like a big moment or like a juicy moment, we all like stay and watch. All right guys, this one's sad. We are still at episode seven and this is when Wes comes to find Rhyme and we break up. I'm sorry, I bailed. She's sorry. I know how important Forgive her. To you. Yeah, you seem She's to not really forgive her. her. About TK? No, it's not about TK. It's not about TK. It's Sadie. She's rubbing it in my face. I don't know if it was TK or not, but you haven't been here with me this entire year. He's not wrong. He's I got a point. Just, hey, I mean, I'm trying my best. You can't no, just say not. that you're going to be somewhere. You actually have to show up. I showed up today. And you left. Yeah, you left. I agree with them. I'm on your side, dude. Break up with her. Wes. No, I'm kidding. Ryan doesn't deserve that, but. <laughs> this movie, music is really vibey. This is over. That seems actually really sad because it's just like super relatable. I feel like super real. Like I feel like this happens a lot in relationships. I'm kind of proud of him for just like knowing his worth and just like seeing that Rhyme's not putting in enough effort for the relationship. So go Wes. We love it. Sorry, Rhyme but try a little harder next time. Okay, so the next one we have is episode eight. I just like let loose at the powder puff game and I pretty much confront everybody there. Aren't you even gonna say bye? Your team won. Give it a break. Yeah. Only saying good game before the lonely little chicken flies back to her coop. You know what? She's so funny. You don't even go here. So how about you start acting like the a music. normal person instead of being a raging lunatic to a girl you don't even know? Yeah, and you should have better taste in women. I'd wish I never dated you. She really said what she said. At a girl. And you be quiet. You act like some sort of enlightened <laughs> indie chick, but that's just an excuse to make everybody else feel like garbage and make yourself feel better. Yeah, I can't believe I chose you over my real friends. Wow, yeah, I'm just like, mm. so, Mr. Daniels, I'm sorry I'm not the person you thought I was, but if I'm being honest, I'm not the <laughs> person so I thought I was either. In me. I don't know what I'm supposed to do or who I'm supposed to be, and I'm okay with this. She's okay with that. And would you two just be together already? I mean, everybody knows you want to. <laughs> yeah, Robbie. You know, I'm really proud of Ram. I feel like everybody kind of needs to like have their voice heard and she just kind of like lashed out. I mean, not like this, like I like yelled at people, but I'm proud of her for like sticking up for herself. And I think that people should definitely learn from that and not just like let people walk all over you. So let's all give a round of applause for Rhyme. Mwah, just kiss of a scene. So we are in episode nine and this is when Gemma and Rhyme make up after she just totally went off on her. You were right. I was. I told Benji yeah. about Anthony and a few other things and he was crushed, but it was the right thing to do. For what it's worth, you have more grit than people give you credit for. Yeah, Ryan. And if you're interested, there's a summer cheerleading camp that I think you'd be perfect for. She's really? inviting you to a Stick camp. Stick with it. You're natural. Aw, Ryan, I'm just so, I'm so excited for you. This is so awesome. I love Avani and she was great. Episode 10, this is when Harmony is meddling like she always does. Not a good decision. I said no thanks. Harmony? Sweet PJs. Her hair's so short. Why are you here? Okay, here's the deal. If you tell anyone I was here, I'll kick your butt. Rhyme's leaving for cheerleading camp tomorrow, but before she leaves, I want you to read these. And then, I want you to talk to her. You think she still wants to hear from me? Harmony. Maybe yes, maybe no. You're doing this behind my back. I feel like I'm intruding. TK's room is so cool. He's got like this whole chalkboard wall behind his bed. I was like, Ryan needs to step up her game. Episode 10 still, we are moving on. We have TK asks Ryan to meet him in the spot and Ryan figures out what Harmony has done. How did you get my letters back? <gasps> Thomas K. Haley, try not to smile. Trash and found Ryan's letters? Unbelievable. Why do you always have to meddle? Hey, if you don't want to see me, I understand. If you change mine, I'll be there. 
Haley is hilarious in the scene. You can watch her like try not to smile because it was just funny filming this scene. Okay, we're still on episode 10. This is when Ryan and Tika actually meet up at the spot and like reconnect. Me running. You. you. Yeah, I spent a lot of time writing those letters. I guess I'm still waiting for a reply. Reading them all made me realize how much I missed while I was gone. Yeah, well, a lot happened. Most of all, I miss my friend. Me too. Me too. Yeah, I keep remembering all those summers. When we jumped in the pool with all of our clothes on. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you were such a big part of my life. You just disappeared, and I feel like ever since then, I've been bouncing around from one thing to the next. After school clubs, different boyfriends. I should have stayed in touch, and I know that now. That's why it was so hard for me to come back. I was scared to face you. I'm really sorry, Ron. He apologized. We've been it's waiting for this, guys. And for the record, I think I would have liked all different rhymes. Although, my favorite is definitely the cheerleader. Yeah, reminds me of old times. Dancing again. Speaking of old times. I thought it was over. It's not. Something. Gosh, oh my God. I'm so young. My face. My... Wherever we go, it'll always be rhyme with TK. TK and rhyme. Oh, that's all I get? Friends. Oh, no. Friends. Oh, there we Friends. go. Friends. 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 Guys, this is such a big moment. So if you guys don't remember, if you're not like hardcore Chicken Girls fan, this is the same shot school set up everything that happened in, I think it was season one. It was like, we're so baby and it's switched. So pretty much TK's running to catch up with me. And it's like this whole thing. It like ends on a cliffhanger. So we kind of recreated it. And I thought that was such a good idea. Everything just kind of flips and we just reconnect and it's awesome. And I love this scene. All right, I think we're moving on to the last scene. Ryan, Ellie, and Quinn sing along and dance to the Chicken Girls song. in my brain. They have hands. I didn't even see that. Aww. Yeah, so this is funny because when we recorded this I was lip syncing to the old like intro version of this where I'm like a baby, baby, baby. And I was so confused. I was like, so are we just gonna pretend that this is still my voice? But because of quarantine, I couldn't get into a studio. Or... So I actually recorded this in my house and I think it actually turned out pretty good. And this dance will be engraved in my brain till the day I die. That's it for today. I hope you guys had fun taking a trip down memory lane and I will see you guys next time. Bye.